the demonology of King James the First, Book Two, Chapter Three. Argument. The witch's actions divided into two parts. The actions proper to their own persons, the actions towards others, the form of their conventions, and adoring of their master. Fellow Mathies, you have said now enough of their initiating into that order. It remains then that you discourse upon their practices. Before they be past apprentices, for I would fain hear what is possible to them to perform in very deed. Epistemon. Although they serve a common master with the necromancers, as I have before said, yet serve they him in another form. For as the means are diverse, which allure them to these unlawful arts of serving of the devil, so by diverse ways use they their practices. Answering to these means, which first the devil used as instruments, in them, though all tending to one end, to wit, the enlarging of Satan's tyranny and crossing of the propagation of the kingdom of Christ, so far as lies in the possibility either of the one or other soul or of the devil, their master. For where the magicians, as allowed by curiosity, in the most part of their practices, seek principally the satisfying of the same, and to win to themselves a popular honour and estimation these witches, on the other part, being enticed either for the desire of revenge or of worldly riches, their whole practice is either to hurt men and their gods or what they possess for satisfying of their cruel minds in the former or else by the wreck in whatsoever sort, of any whom God will permit them to have power of, to satisfy their greedy desire in the last point. In two parts, the actions may be divided. The actions of their own persons and the actions proceeding from them towards any other. And this division being well understood will easily resolve you what is possible to them to do. For their all that they confess is no lie upon their part. Yet doubtlessly, in my opinion, a part of it is not indeed according as they take it to be. 
And in this, I mean by the actions of their own persons. For as I said before, speaking of magic, that the devil deludes the senses of these scholars of his in many things, so say I the like of these witches. Philomethes, then I pray you first to speak of that part of their own persons, and then you may come next to their actions toward others. Epistemon, to the effect that they may perform such services of their false master as he employs them in. The devil, as God's aid, counterfeits in his servants this service and form of adoration that God prescribed and made his servants to practice. For as the servants of God publicly convene for serving of him, so makes him them in great numbers to convene, though publicly they do not, for his service. As none convenes to the adoration and worshipping of God, except they be marked with his seal, the sacrament of baptism. So none serves Satan and convenes to the adoring of him that are not marked with that mark whereof I already spoke. As the minister sent by God teaches plainly at the time of their public conventions how to serve him in spirit and truth. So that unclean spirit in his own person teaches his disciples at the time of their convening how to work all kinds of mischief and praise accounting of all their horrible and detestable proceeding past for advancement of his service. Yeah, that he may the more vilely counterfeit and scorn God. He oftentimes makes his slaves to convene in these very places which are destined and ordained for the convening of the servants of God. Bracket, I mean by churches, and bracket. But this far, which I have yet said, But this far, which I have yet said, I not only take it to be true in their opinions, but even so to be indeed. For the form that he used in counterfeiting God among the pagans makes me so to think. As God spoke by his oracles, Spoke he not so by his, as God had as well bloody sacrifice, sacrifices, as others without blood, had not he let the like? 
Estride Head Churches sanctifies her service with altars, priests, sacrifices, ceremonies, and prayers. Had he not the like polluted to his service? As God gave responses by Urim and Thummim, gave he not his response by the entrails of beasts, by the seeing of fowls, and by the actions in the air? As God by visions, dreams, and ecstasies, revealed what was to come and what was his will unto his servants, used he not the like means to forewarn his slaves of things to come? Yeah, even as God loved cleanness, hated vice and impurity, and appointed punishments therefore, Used he not the like? Bracket, though false they are grant, and but in a stewing the less inconvenient to draw them upon a greater, and bracket. Yet dissembled he not, I say, so far as to appoint his priests to keep their bodies clean and undefiled before their asking responses of him and feigned he not God to be a protector of every virtue and a just revenger of the contrary this reason then moves me that as he is that same devil, and as crafty now as he was then, so will he not spout openly in these actions that I have spoken of concerning the witch's persons? But further, witches oftentimes confess not only his convening in the church with them, but his occupying of the pulpit, yeah, their form of adoration, to be the kissing of his hinder parts, which, though it seems ridiculous, yet may it likewise be true. Seeing we read that in Calicut, he appearing in form of a goat bark, had publicly that dishonest homage done unto him by every one of the people. So ambitious is he and greedy of honour, which procured his fall, that he will even imitate God in that part. Bert has said that Moses could see but the hinder parts of God. For the brightness of his glory, Exodus 33, and yet that speech is spoken but anthropophantically, anthropotically. Chapter 4 Argument What are the ways possible whereby the witches may transport themselves to places far distant 
And what are impossible in the mere illusions of Satan, and the reasons thereof? Philomathes. But by what way say they or think you are possible that they can come to these unlawful conventions? There is epistemon. There is the thing which I esteem their senses to be deluded in. And though they lie not in confessing of it, because they think it to be true, yet not to be so in substance or effect. For they say that by diverse means they may convene either to the adoring of their master or to the putting to practice any service of his committed unto their charge. One way is natural, which is natural riding, going, or sailing. At what hour their master comes and advises them, and this way may be easily believed. Another way is somewhat more strange, and yet it is possible to be true, which is by being carried by the force of the spirit which is their conductor, either above the earth or above the sea, swiftly to the place where they are to me, which I and persuaded to be likewise possible in respect that Habakkuk was carried by the angel in that form to the den where Daniel lay, apocrypha of Bell and the dragon. So I think I, the devil will be ready to imitate God as well in that, as in other things, which is much more possible to him to do, being a spirit, than to a mighty wind, being but a natural event, to transport from one place to another a solid body, as is commonly and daily seen in practice. But in this violent form they cannot be carried, but a short bounds, agreeing with the space that they may retain their breath, for a while longer their breath could not remain unextinguished, their bodies being carried in such a violent and forcible manner. As, by example, if one fall off a small height, his life is but in peril, according to the hard or soft landing. But if one fall from a high, stair, high and steep rock, his breath will be forcibly banished from the body before he can win to the earth as is oft seen by experience. And in this transporting, they say to themselves that they are invisible to any other, except among themselves, which may also be possible in my opinion. For if the devil may form what kind of impressions he pleases in the air, as I've said before, speaking of magic, why may he not far easier thicken and obscure to so there that is next above them by contracting is close together, that the beams of any other man's eyes cannot pierce through the same to see them. But the third way of their coming to their conventions is that wherein I think them deluded. For some of them, they say that being transformed into the likeness of a little beast or fowl, 
they will come and pierce through whatsoever house or church, though all ordinary passages be closed, by whatsoever opening the air may enter in at. And some say that their bodies lying still, as in ecstasy, their spirits will be ravished out of their bodies and carried to such places. And for verifying thereof will give evident tokens as well by witnesses that have seen their bodies lying senseless in the meantime as by naming persons with whom they meet and giving tokens what purpose was amongst them whom otherwise they could not have known for this form of journeying they have found to use the most when they are transported from one country to another Philomathes, surely I long to hear your opinion of this, for they are like old wives' tattles about the fire. Epistemon, the reason that moved me to think that these are mere illusions are these. First, for them that are transformed in likeness of beasts or foals can enter through so narrow passages. Although I may easily believe that the devil could be his workmanship upon the air, make them appear to be in such forms, either to themselves or to others. Yet how can he contract a solid body within so little room? I think it is directly contrary to itself for to be made so little and yet not diminished to be so tightly drawn together and yet feel no pain I think it is so contrary to the quality of a natural body and so like to the little transubstantial God in the Papist's mass that I can never believe it so to have a quantity is so proper to a solid body that as all philosophers conclude it cannot be any more without one than a spirit can have one for when Peter came out of the prison and the doors all locked Acts 12 it was not by any contracting of his body in so little room, but by the giving place of the door, though unspied by the jailers. And yet is there no comparison when this is done between the power of God and of the devil? As to their form of ecstasy and spiritual transporting, it is certain that the soul's going out of the body is the only definition of natural death. And who are once dead, God forbid, we should think that it should lighten the power of all the devils in hell to restore them to life again bracket although he can put his own spirit in a dead body 
which the necromancers commonly practice, as you have heard, end bracket. For that is the office properly belonging to God. And besides that, the soul once parted from the body cannot wander any longer in the world, but to the one resting place must it go immediately, abiding the conjunction of the body against again at the latter day. And what Christ or the prophets did miraculously in this case, it cannot, in any Christian man's opinion, be made common with the devil. As for any tokens that they give for proving of this, it is very possible to the devil's craft to persuade them to these means. For he being a spirit, may he not so ravish their thoughts and all their senses, that their body lying as dead, he may appear to their spirits as it were in a dream, and as the poet's right of Morpheus represent such forms of persons, of places, and other circumstances as he pleases to deluge them with. Yet that he may deceive them with the greater efficacy, may he not at the same time, at the same instant, by fellow angels of his, delude such other persons, so in that same fashion, from with he makes them to believe that they met, that all their reports and tokens, though separately examined, may everyone agree with another, and that whatsoever actions, either in hurting men or beasts, or whatsoever other thing they falsely imagine at that time to have done, may by himself or his minions at that same time be done indeed. So as if they would give for a token of their being ravished at the death of such a person within so short space thereafter, whom they believe to have poisoned or witched at that instant, might he not at that same hour have smitten that same person by the permission of God? to the further deceiving of them and to move others to believe them. And this is surely the likeliest way and most according to reason, which my judgment can find out in this. And whatsoever other unnatural points of their confession and by these means shall we sail surely between Charybdis and Skyla, and showing the not believing of them altogether on the one part, lest that draw us to the error that there are no witches, and on the other part, and believing of it, make us to eschew the falling into innumerable absurdities, both monstrously against all theology, divine and philosophy humane. 